I would love to see her win. I've got many friends in this running, believe it or not. It's not true every year, but this year I have many friends who I'm rooting for many people here tonight. From breaking barriers in Hollywood to building a fortune worth millions, Halle Berry's life is nothing short of inspirational. Join us as we take a closer look at the lifestyle and net worth of one of the most iconic actresses of our time. An American actress, Halle Maria Berry, began her career as a model and entered several beauty contests, finishing as the first runner-up in the Miss USA pageant and coming in sixth in the Miss World 1986. Berry won an Oscar for Best Actress for her starring role in Monsters Ball and was nominated for a BAFTA award in 2001 for the same performance. Him and I thought, what does that, like, is that a good play or is yeah. that a bad play? Like, what, what is the Halle Berry? Yeah. And I got the response, if I came to the game, they would tell me. <laughs> now let's take a look at her hobbies and interests. She has two big fluffy Labradoodles, Jackson and Roman. She's named after the grand old Halley Building in Cleveland, Ohio, which originally housed the Halley Brothers Department Store. In high school, she was a National Honor Society member, editor of the school paper, class president, and crowned prom queen. Her favorite color is red. She loves to watch comedy movies. Her favorite meals are simple yet tasty healthy staples like grilled tuna and garlic mashed potatoes. And your muscles and everything yeah. recover. Usually um, an ice bath sometimes, or a sauna or a steam bath, and then always a little, a little glass of wine, always. Now let's take a look at her personal life. Barry dated Chicago dentist John Ronan from March 1989 to October 1991. Hallie was married to baseball player David Justice from 1993 to 1997. She was married to musician Eric Benet from 2001 to 2005. She dated Canadian model Gabriel Aubrey from 2005 to 2010. They had one child together. In November 2005, Barry began dating French Canadian model Gabriel Aubrey, whom she met at a Versace photo shoot. Barry gave birth to their daughter in March 2008. On April 30th, 2010, Barry and Aubrey announced their relationship had ended some months earlier. She was married to actor Oliver Martinez from 2013 to 2016. They have one child together. Barry started dating Grammy-winning American musician Van Hunt in 2020, which was revealed through her Instagram. She's the daughter of Judith Ann, an English immigrant from Liverpool, and Jerome Jesse Barry, an African-American man. She has an older sister named Heidi Barry Henderson. Really inspired, and that makes me happy. I can tell her be a strong, badass woman all day long, but watching her mother work really hard to achieve something, I think, is the best, you know, role model I can be for her. With that being said, let's discuss how she earns money. Halle Berry's earned some impressive paychecks in her career. She was offered two million dollars for the movie Swordfish, but negotiated an extra five hundred thousand to complete a topless scene. She accepted a lower salary of $600,000 for her role in Monsters Ball, which earned her an Academy Award. She earned $4 million for Die Another Day and a staggering $14 million for Catwoman. She consistently earned $10 to $12 million per film role and has been a Revlon spokesmodel since 1996, earning over $10 million per year from the brand today. She has a net worth of $90 million. Ever wanted to know where she spends her time when she isn't acting? Well, let's take a virtual tour of her houses. Halle Berry isn't just a Hollywood superstar. She's also the proud owner of some incredible real estate. One of her most impressive properties is a breathtaking beachfront mansion in Malibu, California. The over 5,000 square foot home has four bedrooms, five bathrooms, and stunning ocean views from almost every room. Barry purchased this stunning home back in 2004 for a cool $8.5 million, and it's easy to see why. But that's not the only property Barry has to her name. She also owns a $6 million villa in the Hollywood Hills, which she purchased in 1994. This Mediterranean-style villa sits on a third of an acre of land, and the views from its patio are simply breathtaking. From here, you can gaze out at the rolling hills of Beverly Hills and beyond. During the lockdown in 2020, Barry and her two children, Nala and Maceo, were quarantined in their luxury waterfront mansion in Malibu. 
It's easy to see why. Who wouldn't want to spend their days lounging by the pool, taking in the stunning views and enjoying all the comforts that this incredible home has to offer? When it comes to real estate, Halle Berry certainly knows how to live in style. With her incredible properties and stunning views, it's no wonder she's one of Hollywood's most envied stars. She drives around in one of the following cars. A Lexus RX 350, a Honda CRV, a Lincoln Navigator, a BMW 740i, an Aston Martin V8 Volante. an Audi R8. A Bugatti Chiron. If you enjoy our videos, give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Your support means a lot to us. It's hard to get the full picture of someone's lifestyle without seeing how they got there. So where did it all begin? Growing up, Halle Berry faced adversity that few could imagine. Her parents divorced when she was just four years old, and her father's abusive behavior toward her mother resulted in a lifelong estrangement from her. Despite these challenges, Barry excelled in school, becoming an honor student, editor of her school newspaper, and even winning prom queen. She also worked in the children's department at Higby's department store before attending Cuyahoga Community College. In the 1980s, Barry entered several beauty contests and quickly made a name for herself, winning Miss Teen All-America in 1985 and Miss Ohio USA in 1986. But behind her beauty pageant success lay a painful family history, with Barry and her older sister raised exclusively by their mother, who endured daily abuse at the hands of their father. Hallie's struggles in her early life did not stop her from pursuing her dreams. In 1989, she moved to New York City to pursue her acting career, but soon found herself homeless and living in a shelter. Despite her difficult situation, she never gave up and eventually landed a role on the ABC TV series Living Dolls in 1989. Her film debut was a small role in Jungle Fever, which was released in 1991. From there, she went on to become one of the biggest stars in the world by the mid-1990s, appearing in numerous films and TV shows. Her breakthrough role came in 2001 in the film Monsters Ball which earned her an Academy Award for Best Actress. She continued to take on diverse roles in films such as Gothica, Catwoman, Frankie and Alice, and John Wick Chapter 3, Parabellum. In 2020, Halle made her directorial debut with the film Bruised, which premiered at the Toronto International Film Festival and was released on Netflix in November 2021. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching it.
But don't stop here. There's more where that came from. Check out our other videos for more great content.